All right, Max Boost Mondays brought to you by BRI Motorsports, Falcon, Tire, Auto Fashion, Titan 7, Cartoon, Elite Finish, Sparko, and everybody else that has been supporting us since uh, the beginning, actually. What's up? I'm Dennis. Uh, this is Max Boost Monday. Welcome. And uh, we do this live every Monday. Um, and we've been doing this. This is episode number 35. I'm the artist and the creator of Max Boost. And if this is the first time you've joined us, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming down. Uh, we've got big updates today for everybody who ordered Max Boost Volume 2. This is Volume 1. And then we also um, are going to uh, cover, well, we're going to show you all the products, all the merchandise, the actual books themselves. Yay! And then uh, we're going to also talk about some other things that we're going to do as far as uh, swag and promotions that you're going to be able to get in December before Christmas. So uh, we've got a lot to cover today. Um, and then in every episode, we also read an episode of Max Boost. One of these issues, oh, that was, that was a fun issue when we did that, actually. One of these issues of Max Boost. Um, and uh, I give you behind the scenes of that issue. We also give away a prize at the end of every show. And in this case, we're going to give away uh, we're going to give away something. But you have to be in here at the beginning of the show. You have to check in by leaving a comment like everybody else is right now. Leave a comment and you're checked in. You make it to the end of the show and you get a chance to win a prize. Um, so that's what we do. We hang out. And for the past 35 weeks, we've uh, we've been joining uh, other Max Boost fam here on YouTube literally every Monday. We call it Max Boost Mondays Live with me, Dennis Kako, the artist creator of Max Boost. Um, and we hang out. We have a good time. It's like a family. We really, really just chill. Sometimes these podcasts or video casts or vlogs or live streams, whatever you want to call it, um, last like an hour to two hours, sometimes three. So just uh, chill, relax, get some popcorn. And we're going to go over some cool stuff today. There's a lot of people that have been waiting to see an update on all the new Max Boost swag. Uh, and I can't wait to show it to you. So it exists <laughs> for everybody that's been there that's waiting and I uh, can't wait to share that with you guys right now. Um, so one of the first things I always do in the beginning of the live stream is uh, just say hi to everybody that's in comments. So if you're new, uh, just leave a comment and I'll say hi to you. Uh, it's just kind of what we do here. We say hi to each other. And then also, um, if you are on, please hit the thumbs up right now so I know you're here. Uh, and also, uh, I don't know, tells YouTube this thing that we're doing right now is pretty cool. So maybe it, uh, it'll show a little few other people here. So first person that joined today is actually Cycling Magician. What's up? Hello. Tuchikun Francis. What's up? Hello. Michael Bush. What's up? Number one backer uh, for the Kickstarters. He's here. Yes, Cycling Magician, you are first. Uh, Mike, what's up? David McMurtry from Vermont. What's up? Chad Richardson. I was with him this, wacky, this weekend at the racetrack at Willow Springs. What's up? Jenny Wen from, uh, from Canada. What's up? Hawaiian. Carl from Hawaii. Hawaiian Sea. Uh, we got Alex. What's up, dude? From uh, uh, Colorado. Patrick. Boost. Welcome. What's up? Gregory. How's it going? Um, and yes, Hawaiian Sea wants to see the book. I do too. We're going to see it. Tim Lee. What's up? And uh, Nazumi, Brian. Miss Bush is in the house. Yay. Thank you, Miss Bush, uh, for hanging out with us. Um, and you're so excited for Dennis. Thank you so much. Got Jen. Hoi. And uh, other people are jumping in here. GTXR Gaming. Thank you for being here. And uh, we appreciate you guys. If you're in right now, please leave a comment. Do a thumbs up so we know that you're here. Uh, but we're going to jump into this. There's a lot of people that are um, that I think are going to jump on here because it is uh, we we did send out an update to everybody about the new Max Boost Volume Two book. This is the Volume One book, and we're going to get to see it. We can go through all the swag. We go through all the swag. So all of you guys who ordered Volume Two on our Kickstarter, number one, thank you so much for making it a reality. Number two, thank you for being patient. Yes, it's taken longer than I thought. Even I thought. Two reasons why. Number one, I made it 40 pages longer than it was supposed to be. Four zero. 40 pages longer than it was supposed to be. Hopefully you appreciate that. It is thicker, bigger than the Volume 1 book. It is over 200-something pages. The Volume 1 book was like 160. So uh, it's bigger. So I'm sorry for the wait. And it's bigger. And uh, yes, it costs me more. It costs more to ship it. All that stuff. But, you know, that's not that's not uh, your problem at all. We just hooked you up. But you just had to wait a little longer. Sorry. The second thing was that influencer cover took forever. But you get to see it now. So the influencer cover with all the influencers on it 
Took way longer than I ever thought I would do. I really did not think I was going to put that much time and effort into it. I did. And uh, hopefully you got that that book. So you can reap the rewards of me working so hard on it. Um, so I want to say uh, thank you uh, to everybody for being patient. Jiu-Jitsu Dad is in the house. <laughs> what up, man? How's it going, dude? Um, I think it's been a while, eh? Brap, brap, brap in the house. Happy Monday. It is a happy Monday. Uh, and Heathen, what's up? Uh, thanks for the invite, Michael Bush. Okay, cool. Happy to be here. We're happy you're here. Uh, and I hope I said your name right. And, uh, yeah, thanks for making it here, man. Part of the family. So this is Michael Bush's Max Boost family right here. For real. <laughs> thanks, Mike. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, yeah, so let's see. We're going to start digging into the product. So if you're here because of the Max Boost update, we're going to jump into the update right now. So I might talk a little different than I normally talk in a live stream because I want it to you know be specific to here's the update on the products i want you guys to know number one the products are real they exist they are finally here and i'm going to show them to you in real life <laughs> including the books and i'm super stoked on them uh there's a few things i didn't even open yet i'm going to open them in front of you and i'm going to look at them with you for the first time so this should make it extra fun hopefully you guys enjoy this so let's get right to it Here's a box of Max Boost merch that you were only available, only able to get in the Max Boost Volume 2 Kickstarter campaign. And um, for some of you that are watching right now that maybe don't know what I'm talking about, we launched the Volume 2 version of this book on Kickstarter, and it was a bunch of pre-orders. A lot of people are waiting for them, for these books. I think over 600, 700 people are waiting for these books, and they're coming. They're here. I actually, well, I mean, I have one, so I'm going to show it to you guys. Um, and all this other merch too. We didn't just sell books. We sold a lot of merch that you can only get through that Kickstarter. So let's do it. Let me see, what am I gonna grab first here? Okay, the first thing I wanna show you guys is actually the stuff that I showed last week. So just some consistency, for just for some consistency, I'm gonna show some of this stuff. We showed this last week. It's not gonna be a surprise to most of you, but I want you guys to see it just so that we have everything together now, so one of the things that you could get, I'm going to show the books last, okay? So everyone's just going to kind of wait. <laughs> um, so one of the first things we did was we did uh, we did license plate frames. So we got the license plate frames. You guys saw this last week. Hopefully you guys are enjoying what you see right now. And uh, here's a little bit more of a close-up. Uh, original Importuna comic established 1998. Yes, Max Boost started in 1998. Can you believe that? E Plura Boost Unum. Max Boost. So this is a this is a license plate frame that you were able to get during the Kickstarter, and I love them because they're again they're glossy black and they're rounded edges, so they don't look like the cheap. I don't know. We had a sports play uh, uh, a sports retailer here in San Diego called Sports Chalet, and that um, that those are free license plate frames, and they felt like free license plate frames. These ones are nice. I'm just telling you, they kind of have like a lacquer feel finish to them. So super stoked if you got one. Um, yeah, it'll be good. So uh, thank you to everybody who got one of these. They're here. The other thing that I showed you guys last week, I love this thing. Oh my God, it's huge. Is what we call the Max Boost Garage Flag. This is the biggest like print that we've ever sold ever. And it is on like, you know, like those, those garage flags you probably see in some of the shops. It's huge. This is uh, three feet wide and five feet tall. So hopefully this is in focus, but it is super dope and I love it. And if you got one, it's amazing. So perfect to hang up, looks great. Um, put it in your garage if you rep wanna represent Max Boost, right? So we got one of these uh here today and i love it turned out great so if you got one you're lucky very very cool we might i think we might still have some to for people that want to try to jump on it late but yeah it's great fits in the box what i love about it not being paper is that you can fold it so it folds up pretty small it also has the grommets on the sides, on all four sides, so you can hang it any way you want. In your garage, in your bedroom, over your wife's 
or your girlfriend's side of the bed. So, you know, that's how that would that would work. Um, so the actual so Max's actual size on the flag. <laughs> there you go. It is five feet tall. And we weren't messing around. Um, let's see. If you ordered volume one, will you be getting soon as well? If you ordered a volume one with your volume two, it's all coming together. Yes, it is. Um, oh, hell, need one for the front of the house. <laughs> you put that on the front of the house, Miss Bush. Uh, you got to send us a photo of that. That would be hilarious. Oh, all right, let's see. What else we got here? Okay, stuff I haven't shown you last week. I love it. I told you. Well, I, I wasn't messing around. This thing's not small. So if you ordered one of these, it's a Super Dupra sticker. And it is big. Look, at, it's like my head is big and it, it's about the size of my head. It's big. It's a Super Dupra sticker. So uh, it's collectible again. Uh, we try to do limited amounts of stickers and stuff that we normally do. But if you guys remember the Super Dupra, it is in volume two in a big way. So you'll be reading about reading about Max and his adventures in the Super Dupra. And uh, it is featured in volume two. And here is the sticker and it is massive. So you get one of those. Hopefully, you bought one, of, got one of those for you. But you'll be getting one. It's even wrapped in plastic. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Cool. Got another one. I'm gonna open it up with you guys. This is cool. All right. So what we also had available was a sticker pack. Sticker pack had five stickers in it, and it's like this. So. It's a collectible sticker pack. Hopefully, got we got one open and one to keep <laughs> keep closed if you're a collector. Um, but I even we even designed a little package for it um, right here. Doot. And if you look in the logo, you could see the civics in there. So and here's the die cut stickers, which I think are cool. So I'm gonna actually open one for you guys. Uh, so. You guys can see how the stickers look. First one in the world. Here we go. Oh, I just ripped it open like that. Okay. And this is this is me seeing this for the first time. So if there's anything wrong with any of these stickers, well, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> it's too late. All right. So we got the die cut. Oh, what is this? Uh, this one has a little bit of an error on it. Error. Error sticker. Who wants one? All right, Max Boost. It comes. This pack came with multiple stickers. So you got the Max Boost sticker. You got this Max Boost sticker with the whole gang on it. I know that's uh, not in high resolution. Uh, I'll I'll show these again in the other camera as soon as I finish doing this. This one, Max Boost. This is uh, I got a story on this one. This is one of the first stickers we ever made way back in probably 1999, I believe. There's a big version of the sticker. If any of you have it, I would love to see if you have this version of the sticker. It's not exactly the same as this, um, but it would be really cool to see. We got that guy as a sticker, square. And then we've got this guy right here. The Import Tuner 10th Anniversary Poster as a sticker. All right, so here's a little bit of the close-up of these stickers. I think this works better. One two, three, four, Oop. this is a lot, there's a whole gang in there, sorry that quality of the stock Apple camera is not that great on here, all right there you go, so thank you to everybody who grabbed one of those um, sticker packs, it's the first time I ever did it, so you got it, you got the first pack ever, um, let's see. I know a bunch of you are guys are leaving comments. I'm going to keep moving on just because I know some people want to see, uh, see, uh, all these, uh, <laughs> someone said, um, e Maximus blankets. That'd be fun. All right, here we go. Here's some more stuff. All right. I don't know what's in here. It's one of those things where I'm like, these are the these are the samples that the factory sent us uh, of the production the production that's being shipped into the factory uh, into our warehouse right now. All right, so I haven't seen these yet either. All right, so here we go. First thing I'm pulling out lanyards. It's gonna come like this inside a bag. 
Um, and opening them up right now. Nice. Okay, they look they look good already. Boom. So there you go. Got the max boost lanyard right here. Love it. It's perfect. Nice. Awesome. So this part, there's two lanyards, and we'll see the second one in a minute. Good. So the the it, they it detaches right. And I love the fact that this is not. There's like a really cheap version of these clips. This is not the cheap version. <laughs> Have you seen those? Like they're horrible. These, I asked them for the uh, premium ones. These are them. So whoever got these, congrats. Got the red on the back side. So this is basically what I call the red lanyard. And then the other one's the blue lanyard. So if you got one of these, comment. Let me know. These are perfect. Perfect for the keys to your Lambo. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I got a second one. What is this? Oh, snap. Oh, okay. So, all right. This, I, I want to save that one. This is cool. All right, ready? No, I'm going to save that one. <laughs> Let's serve two things. All right. Oh, awesome. All right, I'll show you guys this one for sure. Oh, I didn't give you guys a close up. All right, so here's a kind of a more of a close up of the lanyard. So you guys can see the design on there. All right. Uh, it's weird going backwards. This is a little. So it's got the clip released. There you go. And you know, when you see this stuff from Max, like I, I try to keep things as collectible as possible. So I think you guys kind of know these may never be reprinted again. So if you got one, I'm really trying to not reprint anything that you guys have bought because I want you guys to have the only ones. So kind of how I roll as best as I can. Um, let me save this guy over here. Uh, here's a pin. Here's our first pin. It's awesome, dude. I love it. Papa Wheelie. This this pin looks awesome. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry. I, I love it a lot. So, uh, camera sucks, but this pin, it's great. I'm going to try to turn my, I think my mic's a little loud, so hopefully I didn't just screw everything up, but there you go. Um, this pin is awesome. So, this is the first time I ever made, I think, I believe, I don't know if, I got to look back, but uh, Yin Yang and Wok have never been on a product before for Max Boost, so this is the first one, um, other than the comic, of course. So this is a this is something that you should note when you uh, keep this as a collectible, and Papa Wheelie as well, and his uh, praying mantis buddy on his shoulder uh, is uh, his name is Grasshopper, right? So um, yeah, and it'll come in, and you can see the pins say Series One on them. The original pin said Series Zero, if you guys remember that. Okay, so this is Series One pin, and you got Series Zero. Hopefully, you guys collected all of them. That would have been cool. But these are great. Sorry for the bad camera. That's Apple's fault. Um, horrible, horrible uh, <laughs> laptop camera. But the, this this pin is awesome. I didn't realize they could get that much detail in them. I mean, the Yin Yang logo that's on the head of these two guys right here is perfectly clear. And they're tiny. So it's, again, sorry. But see those yin yang logos right here? Those are clean. Really stoked. Happy. Factory did a good job on this pin for sure. Love it. So if you got a Papa Willy pin, good for you. Um, whoo, shoot. Grab some of them. I think, uh, I think I got the blue lanyard in. Yes, I got the blue lanyard in here. Ta-da! All right, so here's the other lanyard, lan lanyard, lanyard that you uh, may have gotten. So hopefully you got both. And I'm gonna open it up with you here. So this one, so the original one had Todd, Max, and uh, Auto featured mainly on this one. The blue one, if you noticed in the artwork, I kind of featured the other characters like Zig Zag, um, Papa Wheelie. SNFA even make it into this one along with the 
along with uh, Torch, um, Rip, and Slug on this one. So, the blue one. Wow, I like it. Like the blue one? Uh, again, Lanyard. Michael Bush, SEMA status right here. <laughs> um, same thing, same design. Premium, quality stuff. And uh, yeah, it looks great. Let me see if I can give you guys a zoomed in version of this. If you guys like what you see, let me know. Um, I hope you guys are loving this. Max boost. See, you got Papa Wheelie, Yin Yang Walk. You got the Super Duper on this one. This one's a good one. Rip, Slug, Torch. You got... You got Zig, Zag. All will drive brothers in and of course. Oh, where did they go? Uh, it's hard to do this backwards. It's weird. This is not as easy <laughs> looking at the mirrored version of you in the computer. Max Booze. Looks great as well. Good job on these. Um, and if you got one of these, awesome. Awesome, awesome. And that camera sucks. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, let's see. The nostalgia is real. Thank you, Ethan. <clears throat> uh, Alex got his Max Boost flight tag on his keychain and your DC5 flight tag keychain on your RSX keys right now. Awesome. Very cool. Oh, snap. Okay. Um, what? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I like, I kind of have to see them. Nice. All right. So check it, check it out. Here's a keychain. So we're going to do a keychain next. This one is auto. Auto keychain. So this is a, this is the first time I've ever made keychains like this. Uh, I'm going to open it up. And, uh, hmm. Interesting. All right. I'm going to ignore a few things right now. Keychain. Auto. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I've never done these before. These are the kinds that you'd normally see, like, at a comic book shop. Um, and look great. Like, there's actually a lot of detail in it. This is a rubberized style on your key. Never done it before. So, very cool. This will be the first time you've ever done it. Uh, if you got one, it's the first time I've ever done it. First printing of this style of rubberized keychain. Thought I'd give it a shot. And there's auto. What else we got? Let's just keep going. Then we've got Max, Max Boost. This thing's huge. I won't lie. It's massive. Um, I was like, let's just make it big. Because a lot of times you buy a dinky, dinky keychain. And I don't know. I just kind of got crazy a little bit. Sorry if you think it's too big. But hey, you know, it's like horsepower. Bigger the better. Um, this thing's legit. This is a legit, you just hang this from your your rear view mirror. This is what this is. Um, whoops. It fell and broke the floor. It's that big. Let's see. So camera, I'm going to change it to, and again, it's a famous image of Max. And looks great. It's got the lines that you see in the definition in the suit and everything. It's awesome. Love it. And hopefully if you got that, you're happy. It is big though. This should be hanging from something. Like you can use it as a weapon. Nunchuck. Put two of them together and just like nunchuck somebody trying to steal your car. So this is a, yeah, there you go. It's a Max Boost security device. Keep thieves from stealing your Midori Civic. Knock them out. Loon Lee, what'd you miss? Like everything, bro. So um, let's see. Love all this stuff. Can't wait to get all your boxes. Yeah, you got multiple boxes, Mike. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Time for some Max Boost pants with Max Boost size pockets. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> oh, dude. Um, so let's see. All right, what else we got here? Another, key, another. Um, I think there's a third and final rubberized keychain. Poof. Love it. This thing is awesome. This is the R. And uh, yeah, this is the. Oh man, that camera is horrible. Sorry guys. Uh, apologize. I had no idea it would be that bad. But this thing is massive too. It's huge. It's almost life size. It's the size of the actual car itself. But you got it. Super sized everything on your order. Um, we'll open this guy up. So you see, I feel like I'm on QVC right now. QVC, anybody know what that is? Jamal's like, what's that? But anyways, yeah, super dope. Love it. Let's see, right there. It's a little better. Yeah, see, so it's three-dimensional. You guys can see the 98 sticks out, comes out. It's got depth to it. They're really nice. So now that I've done these, to be honest, I'm like, ooh, I got ideas for how to do another set if we do them. Again, you can hang this from your Type R because I know you own one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Super cool. Yeah, I never made those. So this is, you're watching, a, you're seeing a creator actually create something for the first time and seeing it for the first time. So I think that's kind of cool, right? You guys help support make that happen. That's all. That's that's what I appreciate about you guys. Um, Nun Lee, you missed a Super Duper. Super Duper was there earlier. Um, you have to play. Oh, wait. Actually, here we go. Another pin. Boom. It's a Super Duper one. Wow. The level of detail is insane. How do they do this on these pins? So I'm going to try to, I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to try to show you guys how much detail is in these pins. Um, give me a second. I don't know if you can, it's just a horrible camera. But in the detail, that license plate has the Max Boost logo on it. And you can read it. No joke. Wow, it's like got the logo on it and even the camera can't pick it up. That's how much, that's how much, how awesome it is. Pins are dope. I'm not, I'm, you know, obviously I make pins. I'm not a huge pin collector. Lots of people want pins and we've sold a ton of them. But now I'm kind of like, I'm loving this. These are bigger than your normal pin, by the way. I don't know if you can notice, you can tell the size. Like this is one of our camera lenses right here. And uh, it's, look at how big, <laughs> how big that is. This is not small. So this is a real collectible pin. And uh, limited in number. So, yeah, all our stuff's limited, in case you don't know. I try to limit all of the uh, the the uh, products to, because you guys, a lot of you guys are collectors. Um, wow, lots of comments. Sorry, I can't go to the comments right now. Um, and then here's, here's the pin. Hopefully, Jamal's here to check this one out. I believe this was Jamal's idea to turn this particular image from Max Boost issue number three. Was it three or four? Into a pin. So you guys know what's coming, right? And I'm... One second. Uh, must change hats. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I'm not wearing a Max Boost anything. All right. From issue number four or three. I think four. Um, and uh, I think Jamal, you. I think it was your idea? Here it is. The best pin of all, dude. <laughs> you guys know what pin this is. This is the Max Boost riding on Max and Auto riding on the turtle as featured in that ish episode. I love it. This is great. Now, again, hard to see in this camera. Horrible, but it's cool. I love this pin. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out. Hold on. I'm going to definitely take this one out of here. That's super cool, man. <laughs> what a good moment, I think, in the in the, in the the comic book. I love that. Little did I know, can you imagine in 98 when I drew it, that it would ever become a pin and me telling you today about it? Like, 
that's I just never never knew that when I drew it. And so just so you guys know, because of this and some of the things that I've wanted to develop in the story, I have decided to take it take this little idea further. And I'm officially making this turtle actually one of Max's pets. And that's going to go forward if we go in, you know, when we make a Max Boost film or a Max Boost um, Volume 3 or whatever. So there will be a turtle as a pet in Max Boost. And the name of the turtle is Midori. Yeah, perfect, right? This is Midori. And, um, John says, what about the shipping of the orders? I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. So, um, and thus, the Max Boost turtle becomes famous. Thank you. Happy ending. <laughs> uh, Fred needs a turtle pin for my CRV. What's up, Fred? Of course, man. Isn't your CRV green? <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, A pin made by gods. <laughs> God has ordained us to make this pin. Yeah, so get this one. I love it. I'm like, only true Max Boost fans would know what's up. I want to see you guys wear this at something like a SEMA or Formula Drift. All right. So, cool. I mean, look at how many products we got. And we have uh, gone over 30-something minutes, and I haven't showed you everything yet. Yeah, 30 minutes, and it's still going. Uh, thank you to everyone who bought one, though. We're about to get to the books, okay? And here is an update on, here is a pin that I gave as a gift to all of you that backed both Volume 1 and the Volume 2 Kickstarter, and you backed the Volume 2 Kickstarter in the first three days, you got this gift. So you may have not seen the update, you may not have heard about it in our other Max Boost Mondays, if you're listening to this for the first time now. This is coming to you, and it's, it is free, it was free as a thank you so much. A thank you for backing not only Volume 1, loving it enough to back Volume 2 again. It really matters to me uh, that um, you guys would come back a second time and support this crazy dream of ours. Um, and all your help absolutely matters. So this is the Max Boost Double Backer Pin. So I'm going to zoom in on this pretty soon. But it is <clears throat> part of Series 1. And it is... Uh, the image is basically that's probably the clearest it's going to get it is two pistons crossed over for double double backer pin you cannot buy this you can only get it as a gift from me to you for backing both of the projects when you did so you cannot buy it it is also what you cannot see it is in a shiny silver so it, it glittery silver that matches the infamous max boost gold pin so it is also blingy blingy. You can kind of see a little bit of the glitter in there. I think it's kind of reflecting right now. So thank you so much to everybody who backed volume one and volume two. Um, you get this free pin. And who knows? If you back volume one, volume two, and maybe the next Kickstarter, there might be another free gift. Um, so that's uh, that's all we got. I, I see a few comments in here, <laughs> which are kind of... Uh, very interesting right now. But Jenny's like, whoa. Um, and uh, this is this is funny. This is this is good. This is this is if you this is your first time on Max Boost Mondays Live, then um, you know, you'll see comments like this once in a while in the chat. So you haven't shown us the Max Boost Edible Undies yet, dude. That's waiting for that. That's a volume three thing, Mike. You just got you got to wait for that. No kids, no kids watch the read Max Boost, so I think that's okay. But anyways, you're gonna you hang around a bunch of car guys and girls, women. You're just gonna get weird comments. It just happens. Lonely's like a platinum pin. Let's go. Um <clears throat> let's see, I'm gonna leave a lot of these comments out of the live stream. <laughs> All right, guys. So without further ado, you guys ready? Um we finally got the books. And before I, pre I preface this, these are the production version of the books. These are the books that have been printed. They're going to be exactly like the ones you're receiving if you got a Max Boost Volume 2 book. And you better have, because why else would you be watching this right now? And I'm super stoked that we got them. And I'm wondering which one I should show you first, because there's three versions. Remember, we have the original cover, 
we've got the gold cover and we got the influencer cover. So I'm thinking the original cover should be first, right? So um, <clears throat> here we go. Let's do it. So this is a max boost. We kind of saw a little bit of it there. What a what a what a teaser. Um, this is the Max Boost original cover, volume two. And again, I want to thank you to everybody that's watching this right now that helped support make this book happen. It is not cheap to do. <laughs> and we need the support from hundreds, hundreds of people just to print this um, and afford to do it and not have to like, most times you publish a book like this, you're supposed to do like 5,000, 10,000 copies. And we can't do that. So you guys buying the book helped us make this a reality. Volume two. Uh, original cover for the first time is right here. Bam. And so it is green. So the cover is green. You guys probably saw that. This is an actual production version. So this is the book you're going to get. It is real. Look at how thick it is. I don't know if you can tell. This is thicker than volume one. It's big. It's heavy. It's over three pounds, right? So it's the same quality, same. Uh, so to match the volume one is good as, po as best as possible. Here's a volume one. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a bigger book. Okay. So the volume one, volume two. Perfect on your bookshelf. I know Jenny Yuan has got a spot waiting for you, waiting for this book on her bookcase. Thank you, Jenny. And let's open this puppy up. So it matches the other um, cover. And then here is the actual volume two. Yay! So where is... I'm forgetting. We got applause. Uh, we could do the DJ horn. You guys made that, make, made this happen. So thank you so much. And um, I'm going to open up some of the pages so you'll see. The ones that I've been showing you are... There's literally only one... Before this, there's literally only been one version of the book before. And it's the one that's in the actual Kickstarter video. And that was just a prototype. The prototypes are are printed and made by the factory. Um, you can't even open them all the way. Just just kind of a little side note, by the way. It, it's not like a readable book. It's weird. You can't lay it down. Um, it doesn't open like this. Ooh, <laughs> that was a nice page that it opened to. Um, you can't, yeah, it's, it's hard to, we can open the front of it, but this is an example. So I'm going to flip through a few of the pages. You guys have seen a little of the teasers here. Um, they're all signed, right? All signed and numbered. And um, gotta gotta have that. And this time it's for my son, my sons, Max and Otto. Uh, I gotta zoom in on that. Those are my boys. Thank you for supporting us, small business. I mean, we're a real family that is just, uh, let's see, see, this is harder than it looks. There you go. And camera still sucks. But yeah, so we my boys are five and five months. And thank you for your support. This is what you're supporting amongst others, uh, not just my vision, our vision for Max. So thank you so much for that. And um, <laughs> Twitchy's like, show them the fan art section. You guys are gonna love the fan art section. Many of you are in here that have fan art in this book right now that are in the chat. So uh, appreciate you guys. Christmas came early, I hope so. Um, and, uh, yeah, so just another applause. I'm so stoked. This is, this is 20 years in the making guys. You guys know that. So I hope you guys are super happy when you receive it. Um, here's just some of the pages. I'm not going to spoil the whole book for you. Okay. But yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of a little bit of the story here. A whole bunch of images to show you guys like how much we've been through since we launched volume one and had your support i mean we weren't sitting down doing nothing so this little page means a lot to me because it kind of shows you quite a bit of what happened when you guys backed my project and in, in, inspired me to launch relaunch max boost and put a lot of heart and soul and a lot of hard work into it because it was fueled by you guys and um, just want, hopefully when you look at this page, when you get your book, you feel proud and you know that, I mean, you guys made this happen. I mean, this is me being on, on the podcast for Frank Down, Downstar, for example, me with the Throttle Evo at, um, at Willow Springs. 
uh, Raceway. This is me at Comic Con, literally on panel with Tokyo Pop. Um, this is a super secret project up here. You guys are gonna have to check it out yourself. Stuff I did with the GT uh, World Challenge, guys. When was that ever supposed to happen, right? Me on another podcast with my with my boy, Mike. Um, me being interviewed on Channel Ten News. I mean, there's just so much going on. The Falcon Tires deal and stuff that we did with them. I mean, here's me wearing a Falcon Tires shirt. Some of our cars, the things we did with Elite Finish. Um, you guys have never seen that piece of artwork, I don't think. Does that look like a utensil? Uh, meaning a spoon? <laughs> you guys know what's up. But no, thank you guys. So much. So this page, uh, and here's a big one. Michael Bush took this photo. I love this one. One of my favorite photos in my entire life of me. This is a this is a picture of a man achieving a dream right here. That was me in the Honda booth at CMO, and Mike captured it perfectly. Me in the Honda booth at SEMA doing the sketches and drawing in the Honda booth, drawing Hondas for Honda fans. It was the craziest thing. And Mike, thank you so much for catching that. You know, um, so much going on. The girls with the Mac, with the Formula Drift poster, Max Boost over at Falcon Tire, at Formula Drift. I mean, come on, what did we accomplish? And that was one year. That was like, and this is not even everything. <laughs> so hopefully, when you guys see that page, uh, you guys really, you really get it. Like, um, you didn't just buy a book, all right? And then uh, I'm just gonna flip through some of the pages. So here. Right here, <laughs> it's funny. It says, ho, ho, horsepower. And I just want to let you know, this image is before Max Boost. And this is the thing where I kind of, I, I don't know if I mentioned to you, but what I proposed originally to Turbo Magazine got rejected. And I was, I, I felt bad because they didn't like it. And you get to have it, and it, I put it here in the book. And this was originally called Cartooner. This was before it ended up becoming Max Boost. And the only reason it became Max Boost is because it failed. They said no. They said it sucked. And I had to come back with something better. And I came back with something better. And it was Max Boost. So this is one of those great stories where if they said yes, I don't know if I would have ever made Max Boost. It's the At the time, though, when they said no and they said it sucked, that hurt. That hurts my feeling, right? I mean, an artist, I'm like, like what? What was wrong with that? And this is one of those things that I like to say, like, uh, if you're ever to inspire other people, that this, these, those are the lessons that we remember that can help others. Where I go, this is a bad time and also the best time. Because it will, it's not what you think you want to have happen at the time. A lot of the times, if you think about it in your life, a lot of the worst things that ever happened to you ended up becoming some of the best things. This is one of them. And that's why I wanted to immortalize this in the book. So when you guys read this, the story is on the right in those paragraphs or, yeah, your left, I guess. Um, and it was. It was rejected. But it led to Max Boost. That was the beginning. And then this, I got to show you guys this. So this, in the book, is my original sketchbook. This was the sketchbook I first sketched Max and Otto in. I still own it. still there. I put it on the, on the top of Bertha the white Civic EK from Dan Wilson. I own this and it has Max's original, the original time I drew Max and Otto before I knew they were going to be Max and Otto. So you guys are going to have that and that's on the next page I can show you. Or maybe I shouldn't show you so you guys can see it yourself. But I did want to share this. This here, and you'll get a copy of that too in the book, is the original import tuner sketch of the logo I created. A lot of people don't know this, but like I said, I helped create um, and design import tuner magazine. I didn't say I didn't it wasn't just me, I'm just saying, but I did definitely put a heavy hand into it. And if this is just some of the proof right here. That was my original sketch in this book along with Max Boost. And you can see auto right here next to the logo. And then on top of that, the import tuner graphic that I made, that was the original logo that I made. And you can see how it turned into the 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 then that eventually turned into the published version of that logo. So yeah, it's a Turbo Magazine Presents right here, right? Import Tuner, and then this ended up becoming Japanese text instead. And they we, they ended up rounding out the letters. They didn't want it so 
chiseled. They eventually got a chiseled logo later, years later, but they rounded it out. But this is mine. So I did do it. I did do it. So um, a lot of people don't know that. And quick glimpse. So you guys see it. I don't know. I don't want to do spoil too much spoilers, but boom. That is how it looks in my sketchbook. It even has the 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 coil rings in the middle. And these are the original drawings of Maxinato right here. And I'm not going to spoil it so you guys can see it. And we'll talk about it later when you guys get all the books. But it wasn't called Max Boost originally, and you're going to find out what it was. And so another thing I wanted to show you guys, too, that's in the book. This. I do a black and white version. The black and white actual drawing, uh, an inked drawing, is on one side. And you see the colored version on this side with the lettering. Uh, well, the lettering's on this one, but... So you can kind of see and compare and see what just kind of I think it's kind of cool. A little behind the scenes of what it looks like, the colored version versus the black and white version of Max. And we got a few of those in here for you. Um, and without getting uh, too crazy, I guess, uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to show you guys because I don't want to blow too much of this out. Are you guys enjoying this? Because I'm so stoked on this book. I think I can't I'm not going to say I don't love volume one because I do. But volume two was a step up for sure. And I spent, you could see why, I think you can kind of tell now why there, it took longer. Why there's 40, 40 more pages too. Because I, I wanted to show you guys more of what's going on in the background so that you guys can see what you guys help bring back to life. It's a lot. There's a lot to this. Um, and then even I even show you guys, I'll show you guys this. Okay, this is a process uh, page. Again, I know you can't see this. Not not. It's kind of blurry in the thing, but... I show you the blue line pencil. I show you the penciled version of it. I show you the fine, like the ready for ink version of it, the inked drawing. So you guys see the process that I go through with Max. And uh, this was for the GT World Challenge America. And then of course on the next page, I'm not gonna show it to you, but is the actual Max Boost. Oh wait, you guys have seen it before. So the actual Max Boost um, double page spread of that image that Dwayne Avery wanted to buy the original, and you can kind of see a teaser here. Um, <laughs> you weren't supposed to see it. Don't rewind it. Don't look back. But there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, and of course, of course, you know, you got the next part of the comic of Max Boost, all of that in here. There's a ton more stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it for you. I want all of you guys to be surprised. Um, yeah, but I mean, you got tons of comics. Right, so Super Dupra, Date Six, all that's in there, and then um, last but not least, of course, we've got all the super fan section. Everybody who became a super fan is in here, and then um, I gotta say thank you, of course, to our sponsors, Falcon. Tires, Titan 7, Sparkle, Elite Finish, Eibach, Auto Fashion, Chewworks, Gretty, uh, VTech uh, Academy, Hotsport, Cartoon, Import Fest, Tree Frog, Smelly Panda, BRI Motorsports, NASA, Rothfab, Save the Eclipse, Memo, and uh, Mr. GSX, and of course, Auto Cannon. <laughs> and then, um, of course, got to say thank you to our top backers here, Mr. Michael Bush. At track spec daily track spec daily drivers track spec dd check them out Dwayne avery importrally.com kirk kidaro and marcus uh mr heel and toe all right and they're gonna be doing something with us with the midori but um but appreciate you guys for being the top backers platinum backers in max boost i hope you're proud of this book when you guys see it okay and everybody else is listed in the book as well here's the back and there you go. Ta-da. Dude, we did it. Isn't that cool? Freaking did it, man. Oh, and it looks great. I'm super, super stoked on this. Yay, you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, Thank you. Oh, my gosh. This is, like I said, more than 20 years in the making. We launched in 1998, so this is 22 years now. 22 years. And if you're still watching, thank you so much. Uh, we've got more. We've got the other two covers. Can't wait to show you this. This was insane. So this cover was insane. Um, <laughs> Ricky. 
You know that's how you know something like that's got to happen, right? So the last race part two, you know that, right? Oh man, can't wait for payday. Still waiting for other stuff. Yes, you are. You see it? What do you mean you see it? <laughs> Rewind, and I will buy it. Uh, <laughs> he never messes around. Um, wait, what is it? Max Boost is legend. Wait for it. Dairy legend. Dairy. Thank you. No, it's you guys, man. I'm I'm so stoked. I mean, it just makes me proud. This is you guys' book. You guys made this happen. All right. The next one I'm going to show you guys is the... Was the biggest pain in the... I have ever... I've never, ever done a piece of art this insane in my life. You guys that know what's up know what this is. It was the hardest... Like... I don't know what I got myself into. So if you bought one of these, thank you. And I should have charged double. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking when I did this? I don't know. But hopefully you guys love it. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Influencer and Friends cover of Max Boost. If you got the volume two, I hope you got this book. I know if you're here on Max Boost Mondays, that means you're a hardcore fan. That means you got it. So, look, we're almost one hour into this live stream, and I'm still not done showing you all the cool stuff you guys got. All right? So, um, here's that crazy piece of art. <laughs> and so, I'll start with the, <laughs> the book, the cover. I picked this blue, uh, or, uh, yeah, light baby blue. Kind of matches all the other books, right? Uh, I will say there's one thing that I wish I did different, and you'll see it. When you get the book, there's kind of a faded um, Civic on there. Like you could see a little bit. It's hard. I probably can't tell on the on the camera right now, um, on the um, on YouTube. But it's there, and I should have made it a little bit more prominent. That's all I'm saying. I tried to make it really faded out, and it is faded out for sure. It was kind of a look. I can't go back and reprint the books, and it's you probably would have never noticed if I didn't say anything. Okay, so. Um, here we go. You guys ready to see this? <laughs> I don't know how to make this look impressive on camera, but in real life, I think you're going to love it when you open the book. If you open the book, should be a collector's item for sure with all the influencers that are on this. Um, but you can definitely tell there was a ton of work that I put into this, and I've never done anything this elaborate in my lifetime, so thank you so much for buying this cover as well. You guys ready? Let me see if there's a way to do this the best I can. So here you go. Here is the cover of the Influencer book. That's a lot of cars. That's a lot of cars already. And that's just the front. That's just the front. Okay. There is a back. There is a back. I want to say thank you to all the influencers that participated. We're not done yet. We got Nick Hogan up here. We've got Courtney Day, Mickey Andrade from Throttle. We got the Big Mike, got Matt Field, Dai Yoshihara, Memo from hashtag Save the Clips, Mr. GSX, and his uh, Angry Panda. Got Honda Pro Jason, and then uh, I don't know what this car is. I think it, I think it's Max's. <laughs> so this is Max Blue Civic. Thank you to our sponsors again, uh, and all the sponsor logos are on here. On this one. And then, so that's uh, nine cars. Nine cars on the fr front. And going to the back. I love the back. Dude, there's, it's just, uh, sorry for the reflection. And there you go. We got more. We got Andres the Car Kid. Sticky Dill Joe, Chronicles. We got Michael Bush in the house. Track spec daily drivers. He is in the chat right now. We've got Import Fest and their um, Rocket Bunny EG. We've got um, Gary King, and he's even on it in Dragon Ball style. I redid that drawing, so it's Gary King in Dragon Ball style with his uh, GTR. We got Team Scoundrels. We got Blaze and Chase right here, both in their FCs. We've got West Walls with Elite Finish. Um, GT350, and the original drawing of this is actually owned by Dwayne Avery, who's in the chat right now. 
So he got that. It's based off of his car, actually. So there you go. It's official. It's official, Dwayne. This was based off your car, your drawing. And then, of course, Frank Downstar and his EG. So there you go. This is the Influencers and Friends cover. Um, never doing this again. But it is. it was awesome to do. And I'm very, and I hope you guys are stoked. And I know Michael Bush, I know there was a day you probably would have never thought, one, we'd be friends. Two, your car would be on the cover of a Max Boost comic. What's up? Think about that. You're on the cover of Max Boost, the thing you used to read when you're younger. <laughs> when, when was that ever going to happen? I'm so glad your mom's here to hear, see this, see this moment. All right. So. I mean, that's you, bro. And thank you for your support. Thank you for being hardcore Max Boost fan, Auto Cannon fan. Hope, hope, that, hope that's worth it <laughs> all these years. Thank you for being a uh, you know, catalyst in making all of this happen, dude. I really appreciate you and can't wait to see you when you come down. Ah, uh, man, that influencer cover brings tears. Thank you, Dwayne. It brought a lot of tears to my face <laughs> when I was doing it. Oh, my God. Oh, there you go. David McMurtry. We need a poster of the influencer cover. Maybe we should do one of those big. We should do the big flag. Garage flag of the influencer cover. That would be sick. Each of the cars would probably be about this big. What do you think? Um. Yeah, it looks like Yannick. What's up? Belgium's in the house. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the love. Um. Ricky Estrada, so clean. Fred, the one you didn't get. Yeah, you missed out, bro. <laughs> Jen says it's beautiful. Thank you. Ah, uh, Dwayne, so much fire. So much fire. So um, thank you to everybody that's commenting. You guys are awesome. Um, <laughs> Lun Lee says he's going to try to get... And I said this challenge. I mean, I'm like... If you can get this signed by... All of the influencers on this, that will be epic. Super epic. I don't believe you can do it, but if you can, that's cool. And so the other thing I want to show you guys, I think you know, that every book comes with a free print. And that free print ended up becoming the influencer cover. So if you didn't get the influencer cover like Fred, at least you got this artwork, okay? So everybody's getting one of these prints. It's a front and back print. So I kind of tricked you here because you need to get two books to do these two prints together. <laughs> so I don't know if you want to hang them up. Just saying. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, thank you, Ricky. Appreciate you, man. Nice little uh, G35 in your uh, avatar. I like it when people put their cars in there. <laughs> man, maybe. 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 This is what, uh, you know what, Michael Bush, you're right. I think everybody on that cover was at SEMA in 2020. So that's possible. Yes, everybody was. And I'm going to tell you right now, one of the harder ones to get is going to be Andres the Car Kid, Bassett Mirza from Import Fest. Everybody knows you die, Matt, all those guys are, but I think, um, and then Michael Bush, he's going to be tough. He's going to be tough to find for any of you guys. Obviously, you guys are Max Boost fans, but like Mike's, Mike's like a just, he's, he's just going to be roaming around. <laughs> well, he'll probably be with me, so you'll probably find him that way. All right, man. Um... <laughs> Michael Bush, meet me at SEMA. I need your signature, brother. Oh, man. Yes, free print influencer cover. Dang, now I got to order a second one to hang both up. I don't know, man. These 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 turn out great. Thank you so much again. You guys are, you guys are cool. And I and I hope you guys can see. Like I've tried really hard to make the best stuff we can. Our whole team, and I'm just not by myself. So just know that I'm I'm not trying to claim all the credit. Uh, I'm not by myself. So <clears throat> thank you to the team. You guys know Marat. Special thanks to Marat. All right, I got to check this one. Okay, this book, dude. I love it. Now, of course, I love the influencer cover. That thing is dope. This one, man, like, this turned out. And so hopefully you ordered one of these two. I know. It's like, God, man, so many different covers. But I'm a collector. 
Like I was in comic books for so long. It's like you want to have those like special editions of everything. And maybe there'll be one day where we sell like tens of thousands of Max Boost comics. And then you're going to have a copy of something that was only like hundreds, hundreds of these. And you'll have one of them. One day when we're a Netflix show, right, guys? That's what we're working on. <laughs> John's still asking for the shipping date. All right, I'm going to get to the shipping date, John. Uh, so we're waiting. So just to let you know, they're already on the way over here. The ones that I have in my hands right now were FedEx to me so that I got them before the full shipment comes. I cannot airship every single book. It is 6,000 total pounds. So some are close to 6,000. There's a four or five, yeah, five, 6,000 pounds. So you can't airship it. Otherwise, each book would be 100 bucks or something like that. So, um, so anyways, they're coming over. When they come, it's hard to set a ship date because I can't tell you. They're supposed to be here in December someday. They already, they, and I want to confirm before I ever say anything. Because if I tell you right now the date, then everyone's, there's just a high chance for people getting upset. And here's the reason why. Because it's COVID, big problems. Two, oh, people are, things are overwhelmed, ports, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes it goes in the port. When it goes in the port, it's easy. And it goes away and it, it goes from port and out. It can, it can happen very quickly. Sometimes they hold it for a few days. Sometimes they hold it for a week. Sometimes we'll hold it for two weeks. Sometimes there's strikes. Last time when we got the books, it took weeks for us to get it. And we don't know why or how or there's no reason. They don't give you reason and logic on this stuff. It just kind of comes when it comes. So I'm afraid to tell you when we're going to ship it yet. But we're supposed to have these, these books, your books, here in a few weeks. A couple weeks. They're supposed to be in the United States. Now, whether or not they're ready to ship is another story. That means it has to go through um, port into our warehouse. Uh, what do you call it? Received, meaning they have to count everything, skew everything. Like the whole entire thing has to happen. And then from there, then be able to ship. Okay. Now, can it happen before Christmas? Totally possible. And I don't want to tell you that because that would be... Uh, uh, irresponsible for me to say because there are a lot of things out of, that are on our, out of our control. So uh, hopefully it was worth the wait. And um, thank you, uh, <laughs> Michael Bush says he'll get there, patience. And I and I and I did. So I jumped into there, John, even before I wanted to talk about that because I wanted to show you something else first, man. You guys, I know you're excited though. It's cool. And thank you for your patience, John. And everybody else that's waited. Like I told you from the very beginning, if you weren't here at the beginning of the live the live stream. I tell you why it took longer, and thank you so much for uh, wait. Yeah, so Michael Bush knows you got to go to customs, fulfillment center, blah blah blah, and then ship. And we're gonna try to do everything. We do everything we can to make it happen as fast as possible. And you're welcome. You're welcome, John. And that is the real question, right, dude? No worries, man. Um, there you go. I'm hoping we get it before Christmas. Uh, I want to say before New Year's. But they're real. You just saw me open it. So I'm not faking it. <laughs> John, Nick, can you pick up mirrors directly? Actually, that's not even possible because they don't come to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, crying. What? Thank you, Miss Bush. Appreciate it. Ooh, I work in trucking specializing in shipping containers. I can help you. Try. I didn't know that. Are you in the U.S., Lun? You're in the U.S. Yeah, you're in the U.S. Why did, for some reason, I was thinking you're in Canada. Um, okay. Well, if we have any questions, I'll let you know, but, um, I just don't trust any of it until we're able to ship it. I think you guys know this. Like I've been in business for so long that you start telling everybody like, oh, it's supposed to arrive here at this time. And then arrive at there's, you only get two versions of it. You know, there's only two outcomes. One, it either arrives perfectly on time and everything happens correctly. And everyone's not even happy. They're just like, that's expected. Or, but the second one happens more often. Something goes wrong. <laughs> and then it's like on me <laughs> and uh god <laughs> yeah these are all fake 3d rendered books especially this one you guys ready to see it i love it you better have bought this one guys and i'm talking to you too fred if you got it this is a new gold book volume two but wait till you see the cover so it matches it matches the other book they look the same on the outside and then the back has all the backers on it. All you guys are on here. Thank you so much for supporting the book. Um, 
like I said I would, I put it, this is new, I put this on the outside so you don't have to open the book to see your name or uh, take off the wrapper because I know a lot of you are collecting it. So there you go. So see, thinking, uh, helping you guys out. So I get to see some names on here, you know. Um, wow. I mean, there's quite a bit. And thank you to everybody that's on this list. You guys are amazing. Appreciate you guys. And thank you. Fred got the gold one, he said. that's You bought all three, Alex. Awesome. And Fred, you bought the gold one. Good. So check this out, though. I love how the cover turned out. I hope you can see it when you see this. Ready? This is our boy, Otto. And what I hope you can see is the gold on this. I don't think it shows up really well. on. Uh, it does not show up that well on YouTube, but I think you guys kind of get the picture. What I really love about it is there is gold foil all the way around Otto himself. I don't know if you guys see that. It looks badass. <laughs> if I knew it was going to look like that, I would have done it in the first version. So I hope you guys love it when you get it. Um, it looks amazing. I love it. I, I'm going to use foil more often if we can. I'll, obviously, we got to do another gold book of some sort, right? I just need I just need another reason to do gold. Um, let me see if that other camera is going to be better for this. But I doubt it. I doubt it. No, it's not. It, it just looks dark. You guys got to see this in person. And I hope you guys all order one. Even my signature right there in the bottom is in gold foil. Um, and I hope you guys see it. I like I think I think when you know most of the people that open this one are like whoa the people have seen it so there you go there's a gold book thank you guys so much for your support on all of them again gold book original cover hopefully you got all three and of course <laughs> the one it gives me good and bad feelings at the same time. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> the Influencer and Friends cover. You guys are awesome. Thank you for support supporting Max Boost. I really appreciate you guys. This is this is amazing. And so Yeah, thank you. We made it happen. You guys can get the books as soon as you can. And I'm definitely gonna give you guys updates um in uh in you know in the Kickstarter and let you guys know on Max Boost Mondays. And if for some crazy reason um, you guys have not, um, like you haven't, you're, you've been watching this and you're like, how do you get one? Well, you, all you have to do is go to maxpeace.com and you can still get a few copies of this. You can still back the, well, not really back the project. You're going to sneak in there. Obviously, you're going to pay more than, the, well, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but you're going to pay more than what these guys paid that I already bought them. Um, they're at a premium right now because that's it. The, whatever we've got is all that's left. So, but if you would love to support us at Max Boost, it's not just buying a book. We're not just selling a book. We're trying to um, make Max Boost the speed racer of this generation. We're going to be, we use the money to build our studio, hire more people, try to do more videos, uh, make more comics, and all that kind of stuff. We got a big dream of basically, uh, you know, it's like Disney status kind of stuff. We want to do a full on film. We've got toys to make. We've got cartoons to do. We've got comics to make. Like, it's been it's been a journey, and we would love for you to be a part of that. We have we race cars. We are building the Max Boost Civic. We are doing a whole bunch of stuff, and we would appreciate your support. So every time you buy a comic, uh, it it makes a difference to us in a big way. And uh, so thank you guys so much. Uh, and uh, <laughs> me too. Nicho Akano uh, wants a peek at the fan art. I don't know. You guys want me to do a fan art peek? I don't know. I mean, I, I can either give you a little peek right now or I can just kind of let you guys see it because some of it's going to be you guys. And I don't know if I should spoil that right now. I think you need to, I think you need to open it on your own. Jenny, <clears throat> open it on your own and just see it for yourself when you see it in the book, right? And uh, there you go, brother. VTech Academy, thank you for being up in our, uh, up in uh, one, supporting Max Boost, and then two, being here. Appreciate you guys. Um, but yes, initial D of USA. That's Max Boost. Let's go. <laughs> um, 
<clears throat> oh, the peeker sticker. I did not show you the peeker sticker. I don't know where the peeker sticker is. It better be in there somewhere. I'll have to leave that for another episode. I'm not going to go searching for it right now. Um, Randy says, I can't wait for my son to start reading so we can enjoy them together. I got something else for you guys next, too. So don't go away. Just in case you're like, you just came here to see the books. I got more stuff. Don't go away yet. Let's go through some of these comments. Can't wait for my son to start reading so we can enjoy them together. Randy, that's awesome. Yeah, that's that's like, that's like, there's a few things about Max Boost that I believe uh, sort of like when you do something that you're passionate about, it makes life worth living. That comment right there, Randy is one of those, man, that makes me feel like what I do makes a difference. You know, if you can't wait to read it with your son and I'm a dad, then that just makes me like I'm tearing up. I better stop. You guys see me cry already. But that makes it worth it. Because, man, I, you know, I'm here to try to do the best I can in life. And that's it. <laughs> B-Tech Academy, they said it. Take Max Boost Worldwide, Ese. There you go. And we're going to do it with you, VTech. 100%. 100%. <laughs> and once in a while, if you've never been on this, <laughs> if you've never been on this live stream, one of our boys, Fred Reed, always does a random comment. And so this is going to be the random comment from Fred Reed today. Before I show you all this cool stuff, some new, new cool stuff, I hope it's cool to you. This is his message. Someone else read this. This is um this is this is our member, Fred Reed. This is this is what we deal with on this show. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're the best, dude. Hilarious. And then uh let me see. I got some good stuff for you guys. It is not done. We are not done. All right, let me. Uh... All right, so the next thing I want to show you guys, if you guys got any more other comments, show me what's up. And if you don't, I'm going to move on to something different, yet relevant. Okay, let me. I'm, I'm loading it up right now. If you guys got any comments on anything that you saw here, John, you got any more <laughs> delivery, delivery questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm about to move on to something cool. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Hopefully, you think it's cool. Let's see. So I'm gonna get. So I'm giving a second. Um, I'm giving this a second to uh, for people to put in uh, any questions if you have any. Um, and uh, right on, Sean. Of course, dude. I'm stoked to have my son's name and my name in the book. Thank you so much, Dennis. No, thank you. <laughs> Let's go. B-Tech Academy, man. <laughs> we are trying, brother. Oh, that's right. Yannick, worldwide, baby. Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. So Yannick has some photos and stuff that he shared with me. And he's trying to come up with some crazy idea to do some stuff in Europe for Max Boost. And uh, it's crazy stuff. Yannick, we've got to share it with the group one day. Don't worry, dude. We're going to do it. Belgium's in the house. They're nuts, man. And uh, let's see. What is the... Oh. <laughs> Lun Lee asked for the update on... Her... Uh, we'll show that at the end, I think, if I remember. Okay. Oh, even though I can't see it anytime, I'm still super excited to see Muse art submission in the book. All right, cool. Well, I can't wait either. To be honest, I haven't flipped through every single page. And I hope it's in there. Can you imagine if they mi see now you get me all nervous. It better be in here. See, I'm going to I'm going to look at that artwork and you don't get to see it. <laughs> you don't get to see it. <laughs> I get to see it. Da -da -da. Nah, I don't think it's in here, dude. Nah, I don't think it's in here. <laughs> Definitely not in here. Definitely, definitely missed it. You guys are awesome. I really, you know, I love these fan pages, by the way. We need to do more. So when we do version three or whatever we end up doing and I ask for fan art, please, everybody, let's get on it. I love these fan art pages. Crazy. It's in there. Just letting you know, letting you know, Brian, it's in there. 
But um, you know, I, I think the picture you you really want to see though, bro. I think I know what it is. Come on, it's this one. You guys get a self portrait of me <laughs> in the back of the book. Ah, uh, yeah. You could tear it out and frame it. Just for you know, like I said, you know, I come and I delivered. I come to deliver. Stop. Stop it. I don't know why I even said that. <sighs> my art being in anything I didn't get printed myself is both exciting and embarrassing. I know it. I know the feeling. You do. You know. I mean. I kept my name out of so many things that I've built. I've done. <laughs> Yannick, you ready? Max Boost and the National Lampoon's European Vacation. We're gonna do a mix. All right. So I gotta show you guys. Twitch, Twitchy Coon. My God. All right. Um. Anyways, you guys read the comments. All right. So I gotta show you the next thing though. I think you guys might be excited about it. You guys tell me. So the next thing is, and let me get rid of this. Um, is we're gonna start talking about. So what's next? So now we did volume two, and I already told you what is next. We're going to volume three. Um, I'm going to record this actually as though I'm going to put it on our actual Patreon page for Max Boost. Okay, so you guys are ready to see. You guys are going to be part of my production right now. And we've got something I want to show you. So let's see if I could do this right. So we got to pull this off. I have no idea. I'm doing this sort of impromptu. Um, I've got some stuff to... I think I can pull this off. Let's go. All right, ready? So this is kind of like starting this video that it's going to be on the Patreon book for now of uh, patreon page for now let me see if i can do a good job all right ready and action hey what's up my name is dennis Kako. i am the artist and creator of max boost hopefully you've seen max boost in importuner magazine back in uh, 1998 to 2006 we re-released max boost successfully on kickstarter for volume one and volume two uh this last year and you guys supported us making uh, reprinting the books and getting them out. But our mission has not stopped there. We still need to do a lot. We have a huge dream of making Max Boost cartoons, toys, uh, a film, and all of that a reality. We also want to do Volume 3, which is all new issues. All of these issues have, or were originally printed over, over a decade ago, 13, 14, 15 years ago. And we want to make new ones, and we want to make new ones with you. And that's why we have this Patreon. This Patreon, this fan club page is a membership, uh, is allows you to become a member of Max Boost, help support us on a monthly, semi-monthly basis, and so that we can continue working on the dream. And uh, we also will deliver swag in return for your support, right? So in this fan club, just to let you guys know, so I can walk through it, if you love Max Boost and you want to support us and our team, um, your support will help us get more uh, be able to do comics, be able to do some test animations, be able to do um, more art, hire teams, do crazy stuff, build cars, all of it. It would help us you supporting us and building the brand. And it's, we won't do it alone. You're going to be with us. And that's part of the membership in the fan club. We interact. And so we'd love for you to help support us build the future Max Boost. The Patreon, this membership uh, fan club is the heart and soul. And we'd love for you and we're inviting you to join us who are already here to come join us in this group and try to make something extraordinary, hap extraordinary happen. Having Max Boost become a Netflix show or a film is almost impossible. But with you, it makes it that much more probable. And so we're going to try to do it. And we're going to show you how we're going to do it. We're going to we're going to succeed. We're going to fail. But bottom line, we're going to have a lot of fun together. And we hope that you're going to be proud to be a part of our Max Boost family. So moving forward, this is how we're going to do it. It's in the Max Boost Fan Club. So if you look at our page, we've got membership levels. Start at five bucks, five bucks a month. That's like one coffee at this point, right? Or a Slurpee, a big Slurpee. Uh, but five bucks, you get to get, you get access to the digital version of the comics in this book, which is volume one. And this, and then you have, which are the original issues that ran in 1998 to 2002. And then from 2003 to 2004, we have, uh, oh, yeah, we have, <laughs> where is it? Where's my volume two book? Ah, oh, there it is. Now I have to edit this. Where'd it go? 
Am I crazy? Did I just drop it? Cut! All right, so I'll show this version. Volume. So, the, <laughs> so for uh, $10 a month, you get access to volume one and you get access to volume two. Volume two has all of the issues from 2003 to 2006. So uh, between those two volumes, you'll be able to read the entire history, all of the comics from the past Max of uh, Max Boost that used to run in Importuna magazine. So, and then you'd be supporting us on uh, on a uh, monthly basis for twenty dollars a month. You'll not only get that, but you'll actually get a postcard delivered to you in the mail of whatever uh, new artwork that we produced that I produced and drew, drew that month. For thirty five dollars at the gold membership, you're going to get not only that the pin, you're also going to get. Oh, sorry, for the gold. <laughs> this is going to get edited. Okay. Stop it. You guys are distracting me. I shot, that's why I shouldn't, shouldn't do this live. But I'm trying. I'm going to try it. Um, and then so for the gold membership, you also get not only everything that I just said, but you get, like I said, the postcard, but you also get a collectible pin. And so... Yeah. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are entertained by this. Oh, I give up. Wait until you see the edit. It's going to be beautiful, okay? It's going to be like Hollywood. See, I'm glad I'm going to edit this because you guys hear that already, right? The alarm in the build, but the alarm in my building is going off right now. What, what, what? <laughs> What's going on? You know that's funny. I know you know that's funny. I know you think that's funny. And you better be laughing because I'm not. I'll be back. One second. This is like you being a part of the production, okay? I'm letting you in on me shooting a, the main video for the Patreon page. I'm letting you be a part of it, so stop laughing at me. It's messed up. All right, what's next? <sighs> Where was I? <laughs> All right, so let's see. In the gold membership, let's start over with the gold membership. For $35, for $35 in the gold membership, not only do you get everything that I just talked about, like the poster... Uh, postcard. <laughs> so for the gold, you know what? I should shoot this later. Nah, this is funny. So for the gold membership for thirty five dollars, you get the everything that I just said, which is the postcard plus a pin. And in this particular case, we're gonna be doing these white Max Boost pins. And yes, they are labeled Series Zero. And is the only way to get it is by joining the fan club. And you know, at this level or higher, okay? Whoop. Yeah, everyone. <clears throat> Next, at fifty dollars a month, you can get uh, everything in the thirty-five dollar tier, plus an eight by ten artwork of the month, a print signed and delivered to your door, as well as secret merch store access, and uh, something that I forgot to mention in the gold membership. You get an, uh, you get a secret gift every year. And the gift is bigger depending on which membership you've been in for, for the whole year. Okay, and the VIP. Why don't I do this? Oh, I see why. All right. So in the VIP, the hundred plus club. Thank you to everybody who's in this one. You get everything in the fifty dollar tier, right? Uh, but you get the artwork of the month poster. You get a group Zoom call with me, monthly. You get access to the Max Boost merch secret merch store. And your name is listed on the page as a VIP 100 plus member and one extra large 
uh, secret gift box every year. And then um, this is not really working out. I don't, I don't think I like this. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm thinking ahead. Like, I'm going to take this. I'm going to edit it. I'm thinking it's entertaining for you guys. I'm trying to do the whole entire thing. I don't know if it's working really well, but I got I got something to show you. This is I don't know what I was. This happened different. This this was this looked different. This 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 looked like it was gonna happen different in my mind. Okay. And then for five hundred dollars, yes, five hundred. Uh, you get everything in the hundred dollars here times three. Plus, you get a sponsor logo on the front of the page and a sponsor mention and logo on one of the Max Boost lives months lives for that month. And you can even choose a car to appear in Max Boost Volume 3 after 12 months of sponsorship. So anyways, and that goes for um, Egri. Thank you so much for being an actual Max Boost sponsor for the fan club. Okay, so I thought that would be kind of fun. So I'm going to stop right there. Um, oh, wait. Now I got to do the ending. I got to do the ending. So the ending is going to go something like this. Thank you guys so much for uh, jumping in. No, they didn't jump in yet. So how can I say that? So you're going to say something like, thank you so much for checking us out. We hope that you join us in the Max Boost Fan Club. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Join us today. That was weird. <laughs> I should leave that right there. Okay, so this is what I was supposed to show you. Like, I'm gonna make, this, this made life easier. So the, look, so what I ended up doing, I don't know why I, I was, you'll see what I was trying to do at the end. And even right now, I'm still trying to think this through. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I wanna actually give away to everybody in the month of December. So we're gonna do a push for the Max Beast Fan Club and see how many people we can jump in, get in. And I've actually got some stuff already ready. You guys have seen some of it before, but I've never offered it really before. And if you join the Max Beast Fan Club this month, then this is what you're gonna get. So that's kind of what I was supposed to do. So I'm gonna start over again. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do this one more time and see if uh, I could cut things together. So let's see. All right. Okay, so if you're seeing this right now, we're actually doing a special promotion, particularly for the pre-release of this new fan club. So if you join now before we officially launch, this is what you're going to get. We're going to try to ship it in the month of December. All right. So for the first... Uh, so normally in your base model membership, you get five dollars in access, digital access to the Max Boost Volume One uh, comics, right? But we're going to take that a step further. We're actually going to give you, send you a physical version of the Max Boost Mini comic. There's only a few left, and um, I'll send that to you as well. So you're going to actually get this in the mail, yeah, for five bucks. Do it. Next, if you go, if you pick up to a bronze membership. At ten dollars a month, um, I'm gonna show you guys. Actually, there's I actually have something I was supposed to show you. So this <laughs> here's the Max Boost Fan Club. Oh Lord, is me. Um, <clears throat> let me see. All right, ready? And I should have probably shown you this. So this doesn't make sense because I'm trying to show this to you. Wow, do you know what? I gotta record this separately. So I'll just talk to you like I'm talking to you guys. This is just this is a bad idea. Who came up with it? Um, all right. So, anyways, and here in the Maxwell's Fan Club too. I uh, saw so ten dollars. Guess what? You guys are gonna get a mini, a mini book, and a postcard print, which is I think the artwork might be this. Ta da! I want to send one of those to you uh, in December as well. Um, I think it'd be kind of fun. And so you get something like this every month. Uh, but in this particular case, like I said, we're gonna we'll want to. This is for the ten dollar level. You get not only the book. Normally, you're just supposed to get digital artwork, uh, digital access to Max Boost Volume Two. You're actually gonna get this and the postcard. And then, um, if you step it up, this again, this is for December only. Um, you're going to get, I think, for the next membership level. Um, I'm gonna also send you for the send you. I think it's better way to do this uh, for the $15 level you're actually gonna get two of the books the postcard print and the postcard print autographed right so you get an extra book at the $30 level you get all of that plus the 
poster. Yes, I'm sending a poster. And you guys know how much I love sending posters. Um, here, I, I'm making my life easy. Oh, that didn't work. That's not good. So sorry. This was not smooth. Huh? <laughs> not that I don't know why I did it this way. This went very different in my head. Um, and I even worked hard for getting this presentation together. All right, so you get a poster uh, for level, let me see. All right, so normally at the $30 level, you get, what is it doing, computer? All right, so normally at the $30 level, there you go. So normally at the $30 level, you were gonna get or $35 level, sorry, was you're gonna get a pin and a postcard, but this month we will give you a, <laughs> oh Lord. Um, uh, original Kickstarter poster plus, there was a definitely a better way to do this. Uh, two of the mini books, postcard print and the white Patreon pin right and yeah that's what you're gonna get at the $35 level at the $50 level see now I'm super confused at the $50 level you're gonna get okay so here's a here's a big one I'm confusing myself now let's go back <laughs> horrible this is horrible I should have just done it off of this all right so at the 35 it's supposed to be $35 sorry guys so $30 level um, you're also going to, so part of me wants to start over. So there's $5, you get the mini max boost book, when normally you're supposed to get digital stuff. At the $10 level, you get this plus the postcard print, which is max in the, uh, max in the blue uh, GTR and auto. At the $15 level, you get two of these books and the postcard print autographed. At the $30 level, $35 level this month, you'll get two of the max boost mini books, the postcard print, the white Patreon pin, and um, let's see, uh, what is it? Max, yeah, white Max Boost pin. The post, wait, what? Yeah, I'll print. I'll, I'll print items autographed. So that's a thirty-five dollar. At fifty dollars, you get. This is what's cool. I know you guys have been looking for this. So this is from all of this stuff from my personal stash. So. Um, yeah, for my personal stash, but I got some of these. And I know some of you guys want these. These are rare. You cannot buy them. So I'm giving these away if you join the fan club. Um, and anybody who's already joined the fan club, this is stuff that you're getting. So number one is uh, on the $50 level or higher, I've got a few of these left. I've got a ton of them. That's why I got to kind of space them out. Can't buy them. Can't get them anywhere. You can only get these from me are these guys. So these are original prints of the Tuner Crate um, collab books that I did. So if you're looking for something rare, this is definitely it. This is the first time we ever printed Max Boost in a format like this. And we did this with Tuner Crate. People want these ones. And this is where you get the cover with the influencer. Obviously, this is uh, Randy from Eliminate. Um, this is this is issue volume. It's called volume one, but it's really issue one. I should have called it issue one. Well, no, it's still kind of a volume. And then volume two is, uh, let's see, is these crazy guys from Haggard Garage, right? And this is these are more issues of Max Boost in here. Again, you can't get these anywhere. You can only get them from me. These are literally out of my personal collection. Um, and then here's the volume, the third issue. With that boy in blue, YouTube and all YouTube influencers, right? And of course, the last one, which is volume four, um, this is with uh, uh, with Mr. Tuna Crate himself, right? Mike. So there you go. So there's four of these. If any of you own all four of these, good for you. Uh, you can't get them anywhere. Uh, like I said, once in a while, I'll give these away in real life, but I have a very limited number of these. And at the $50 level, you actually get, um, you get one of these. 
All right, you get one of these, it's gonna be, I'm gonna pick one randomly, but you're gonna get Holy shit. I seriously like you guys are still here. You guys are still here. Whoever's still on here is a hardcore Max Beast fan. I just saw the comment right now. I said, I wonder how angry he's gonna be when he finds out in the last ten minutes. Oh my god. I give up. That was like hilarious. You guys are like that was some freaking hilarious stuff, though, dude. Oh, my God.
That was hilarious. Are you guys trying to text me? Did anybody, where's, where's my boys at? Yes! <laughs> Mike Servant. You tried to remind me, dude. I hit mute somehow. Does it matter? Does it matter now? My 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 world is ruined. <laughs> but you got it's like yo, we need a gift for that. I'm like, I need a gift for that. I need a gift for that, dude. I just freaking how? How did after fifty dollars look? You said after fifty dollars didn't hear anything. What happened? I have no clue. Three minutes of mute? I think it was longer than that, was it? Or no? <laughs> that looks like time to go home and chill with the fam. Now I got work to do. That was funny. <laughs> Mike's like we could tell it was good content. Don't worry. Well, at least I was showing you something. So anyways, I'll just go back to saying, I got, all right, number one, I think it's hilarious. And I, I wish I could hear all of you guys laughing right now. You can laugh at my expense. It's cool. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Carl, Carl, I think he's, he's, I don't want to say, I think, I believe, Carl, you're hearing impaired, correct? <laughs> so he can read my lips. He said, I'm good. <laughs> Carl, I love you, man. I love you, dude. Oh my God, this was good practice. My nuts, man. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is what happens when you do live. That's one of the things I like. I love about it is like you can't hide behind editing, you know. But you also like that, right? You guys get to see like the real me. There's not too many people that have the balls to go live like this. Period. Or say half of the things I say. You guys are crazy. You guys are... Shouldn't have tried to take my mic. <laughs> yeah, I think my mic got mad at me, Jiu-Jitsu. <sighs> Defeated. All right, but anyways, I want to show you guys something. <laughs> I'll show it to you again. Just to show you what I was showing you. All right, so at like the $50 level, I think it's a $50 level, you'd get one of these. And this is one of the original the original comics from um, from the Tuner Crate, right? <laughs> I don't know where the comic went. Okay, here's one. So there's four of them. If you guys saw, you got Randy from Eliminate. You've got the Haggard Garage. Uh, whoop. Haggard Garage. Whoop. <laughs> Haggard Garage. This is harder to do. I'm looking at a mirrored version of me. Okay, when I when I do this, so it's harder than you think. Haggard Garage. Um, these are the original ones that came in the tuner crates. You could not buy these. These are over. See, these are like now two years old. I think this is uh, the boy in blue. That's volume three, and then this is the one from Tuner Crate uh, with Mike on it, the owner of Tuner Crate. Okay, with both of his cars on it. These are from my private collection. For fifty bucks, you're gonna get one of these. You can't pick one. I'm gonna pick it randomly. You're gonna get one of these guys. I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna give it to you at the fifty dollar level on Patreon, right now on the fan club, fan max, fan club .max .com, Okay, so um, there's that. And then if you go to the hundred dollar level, you're gonna get all four of these. You're gonna one of each. So you're gonna have the complete collection. And some of you have the complete collection already. Congratulations to you. If you do not. This is extremely rare. The only way that you're going to get these is from me. There's no other way to get it. So I've never offered it before. These were things I gave away for free because I only have a limited number of them. And I decided, you know what? Let's. So many of you in the fan club are already in the fan club here. But I'm like, let's grow this thing. Um, I'm really committing to it. And if I got to give up some of these original ones that, that I have, let's do it. And so everybody in the $100 club... Um, I th you guys are getting one and um, uh, let's see so, uh, so I'm, I'm reading like Michael Bush said I'd be a good half year of me being drunk before I was comfortable oh okay to be on live I think oh. <laughs> you should be the hype man that's what they said that's what the channel needs uh, right on um, 
<laughs> Yannick missed the last 20 minutes loading the truck. Don't worry, we all did too. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I was saying anymore, but um, yeah. So, anyways, when we uh, so in December for the Max Boost Fan Club, these are the things we're giving away. Um, it's going to be altered for December so we can deliver it this month. And we're going to do a push for the Max Boost Fan Club for this month. That was fun. That was funny. I, you guys are so dedicated. I swear if I could. Yeah. So that, Oh, and I don't know if you heard this. Oh, at least there's words, right? I don't know if you could read it. Before one of the levels, if you get the poster, if you get the $100 level, you get one of these posters. This is the original import tuner poster. That was... I. We gave, I have a, I have some in my personal collection and it's literally from my garage. It is literally from 2008 and yes, it is 12 years old, 12 years old. And, um, they're stored in my garage and it's proof because there's crinkles at the bottom of the poster because there's a moisture during the storage. It's not perfect, but it's still super rare. I've never offered this before. I've never sold them before. Some of you have got them because I give them away. If you got one, awesome. I don't think anyone else in the world has one. Who else would save this poster for 12 years? I don't think anyone. Um, if you got one, you're lucky. And um, I'm giving these away for the $100 uh, pledge. Pe the people who pledge $100 on the membership. Pick the $100 membership level. You guys are getting this. Including sponsor, of course, I agree. At $500 or more. But uh, the, the $100 level, you're getting one of these two. On top of everything else you're getting. So the $100 level gets a junk. Gets four tuner crates. Two Max Boost posters. Um, and I don't know why this is still up. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I don't know why Yannick's. I don't know why his uh, comment's still staying up there. I don't know what's going on. All right. Um, so, yeah. So you get four tuner crates, all four issues for $100. You get the two two uh, Kickstarter Max Boost posters uh, that are this one right here. Show you guys right now. And, uh, right? And you get two of those, and then you get the, uh, the Formula D poster, which is, again, you can't buy anywhere. You can only get from me. And then uh, what else you get? You get um, the white Max Boost pin, Get three postcards, three Max Boost mini books, and everything's autographed. So I'm pretty sure you know how to read. So you see that down there. Anyways, that was a disaster. That did not turn out smooth. I think the first half of this lab, live stream went smooth. The second half did not. I'm calling it quits right now. <laughs> We've gone. Uh, yeah, dude, it's almost two hours. Too. How did I talk two hours? Again, this was supposed to be shorter. Um, I got a lot of work to do. Um, and I, I feel like I need to end it right now. I'm not reading an issue of Max Boost. I don't think I am. But I need to go. I'm going to go now. Me and my silent, silent freaking 10 minutes of me explaining something. Ay, ay, ay. Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at the max position right now. I'm feeling if I'm feeling it. If I feel like reading one right now, I don't know, man. That was just like, I think I just got jacked. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys what issue it is, though. It's this one. But, uh, why is everything? What is it? Um, let me see. All right. Why is it doing that? Anyways, it's acting weird. All right, who's gonna forgive me if I just decide to leave right now? I'm <laughs> just like. I'm done, man. That was a lot of work, and it didn't work out. I planned that whole thing, and uh, it didn't work out very well, did it? 
Ugh. Let's see. What do you guys say? Good thing this wasn't on Zoom. Why? Why was it, what was wrong with it being on Zoom? Wasn't the cakes poster one of the posts from the first or second? Yeah, that was one of those posts. Yep. Plug the unplug the internet cable by accident, right? Justin just spent a hundred dollars just buying volume one. No problem, man. Yeah, framing that poster, cool. You got one with a coffee stain? You got the original one. Chande, I think you did. I sent you the original one. It wasn't coffee, dude. It was just water. Like I said, there was some moisture in the garage, but that's an original. I think I think you know that, right? I'm not sure if you knew. Like, I think you got one of those. That's original, like literally 12, 13 years old. So. All right, man. <laughs> Randy's like, See you next Monday. Uh, I think I'm, I'm calling it quits. This is the first time I'm going to bow out. I'm like, dude, I went two hours. I didn't accomplish everything I want to accomplish. And I messed up big time. That was hilarious. Randy, thanks for hanging out. Um, <laughs> No one else knows what this means. No one else knows what this means right now. Non-specified liquid stain. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. Man, that stuff I wanted. You know what? This is how I'm going to end it. I'm sorry to everybody. This is like, I'm doing this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I, I got to go. I got to go. Well, I'm going to show you guys a few things before I go. I. Pfft. This is one of those you got to call it quits when you know you just got to call it quits. My brain just got fried right now. Um, I'm going to show you guys something fun, though. So... Before I go, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this. I was at the track this weekend. There you go. With the guys at Cartoon. Um, oh, before I pull this video up, I'm going to preface this with this. This is a video of a the, of Angel's car. It's one of the uh, customers at Cartoon. And I went to the track. It, he went to the track for the first time and I was there at Willow Springs. He loved it so much. I told him, I told him, I said, dude, you're going to get hooked. You're, you're screwed. And so less than a year later, he has his own, he, he built a new car. It's like basically a race car. Uh, it's an EK with a B series in it. Roll cage, a um, whole bunch of suspension work in it. And just bottom line, it reminded me of my first race car. I'm going to show you a little bit of that video, kind of as a distraction from what just happened. Uh, check it out. I haven't even edited this video, so we'll see how this goes. And seeing how everything else has just gone in the second half of this entire live stream, this is probably going to go bad. If it'll go. Let's go. Ready? And three, two. All right. I guess it didn't want to go. So I'm going to have to do it this way. This is embarrassing. Let's go. All right. So what? What, Jeff? One thirty-seven. I got you. Your what? My one second. I, did the I promise. Get you one second? The promise. One second. Did I, a, and I? And I got it right. You got a, it? Yes. And there's another one in there. Congratulations. You know how that is. See? Told you. <laughs> I love it when a good thing comes together. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We can do it for Angel too. Go drive Max Boost. <laughs> there you go. I get, get to drive this. Excited. This is uh. This is uh. Are you driving it? Yeah. This is oh. this is making me have feelings because. <laughs> My Honda Challenge race car was an EK with a B series in it. Got it. This should be fun. Thank you. Have fun, buddy. All right, and then uh, yeah, here's a here's a little bit more of the video. If you give me a second, here me loading up in the car. All right, here we go. <laughs> skipping through the video right now because I want to show you guys. Okay, so we just saw uh, I'm I'm getting uh, strapped in obviously uh, harnessed in it's got a roll cage in it it's got a four-point harness in it and at this point it's just making me have crazy memories 
of the original car that I raced in. I raced an EK with a B series in it back in the day. And, um, Some kind of footage. Feeling out the car. Uh, I've never driven it before, obviously. It's my third turn in the car. Um, and you probably can't really hear me, but um, it takes quite a bit to get used to a race car. You gotta figure out everything. Uh, so <clears throat> they all act different, and sometimes they're very difficult to drive. Figure out all the idiosyncrasies. This guy's got a BMW SUV. Just... Right, Dwayne? Actually, yeah, you know, this this car is just a B16. It's it's not super fast, not a ton of horsepower. I guess. Oh, well, it's got some horsepower in it apparently. But um, I didn't I didn't even I didn't even use it. Like it, it actually revs to 9200. I'm shifting at like 7000 something. So, anyways, just wanted to share some of that with you guys. Um, yeah, I gotta go. I'm out of here, man. It's been two hours. Appreciate you guys so much for hanging in there. <laughs> I tried to... <sighs> that went. That was supposed to go different. So anyways, on the next Max Boost Monday, I'll read two episodes of Max Boost. I'll make sure I do that. Um, I think by then I'll actually have to correct like a really good video for the Max Boost Fan Club. I'm literally checking that I'm unmuted right now, so I know you guys can hear me. Um, and Ricky said for a test strap, lap I'm doing pretty good. Yes, I... Yeah, for my I did four laps total in the car, and I already matched the owner's uh, best lap, so that wasn't too bad. Um, and usually when I get in the car, I, you know I don't push people's cars, um, but uh, usually I do some test laps, and then eventually if I get like three or four sessions in it, they're usually about two to three seconds faster than when I first jump into it, depending on the depending on the um, uh, depending on the track. So. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Was it fun? Okay, it was a good stream. 
Thanks. <laughs> We're there for everything. Yes, you are, man. Thank you. Thanks for streaming. Um, good stuff. I'll show more uh, track stuff next week. Chad actually came down. Chad Richardson came down and gave me this video of me and the Mustang. I'm going to tease a little bit of it. So at least I can show because he drove, literally drove to my office, dropped off his video. And I'm going to show you me being happy in his Mustang. Okay, this is Dennis Kopko, happy in a Mustang. And when I, when I stop this video, I'm going to end the live stream and that'll be good night. And I thank you guys for hanging out. But here's a little treat. Um, cover your ears if you're under 18 years old because uh, I say a lot of not safe for work stuff because I really enjoyed this car. Um, we put some new suspension in it, some expenses, like MCSs. I think they're like five grand. We put the suspension in the car. I drive it. I get in it. And immediately, I immediately feel the difference in that car. I have this weird ability to be able to know, like, even before I go fast, that I can tell something handles just better. And it, right when we come out of the pits, you'll see it. I turn the car a little bit, and I go, magic. I'm not even on the track yet. I already knew the car was awesome, and it was awesome. And we just like, I'll show a little teaser of it since he went through the trouble. Um, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it next time. But anyways, sorry guys for the whole second half kind of bl uh, blunder. Um, I was trying to shoot a Patreon video at the same time doing the live. So you guys kind of saw some, I don't know, maybe it's kind of cool because you kind of saw a behind the scenes thing. And maybe I can salvage some of that video and go edit it. And it ends up in the Patreon somehow. And you go, oh, that's what he was doing. That'd be kind of cool, right? Maybe I do it. Maybe I can pull it off or not. But um, thank you guys for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. And thank you. We got volume two done. We made it happen. We got volume two done. This was volume two. This is where it went. <laughs> this was missing. I just looked over and I was like, there it is. Ugh. This is this is my, my data. Bank. Forget it. All right. So let's go see some uh, fun Dennis in a Mustang for a little bit. And then um, I'm going to go home. Or, well, actually, I got to work first before I go home. Sorry. If my wife's watching, I got to I gotta work. Bye, yeah. Dan.